Don't be nervous at all. Between uh, Gwen and Mike, they'll uh, work you through the whole process and it's real easy. Hello, I am Bob Kranz. I am a patron of the Barrington Area Library. I recently retired and um, my wife, who works at the library here, Marilyn, uh, had suggested that I attend an upcoming class on wood carving. And wood, wood carving and carpentry has always been an interest of mine, so I thought, oh, that sounded like a good idea. So I um, attended the class. It, it, it was two evenings, and uh, it involved designing your own thing on the computer, that, uh, that anything that you wanted to design, and then that would transfer into a machine called a Carvey, which is sitting right behind me here. One of my passions is motorcycling, so I was able to design a, an outline of a motorcycle, put it on the computer, and then transfer that over to this machine. And what I made was a coaster. It's three inches in diameter. The machine carves a motorcycle image out of the middle of the coaster, and this is about an quarter inch deep, carves about half that distance. You can control how deep you want your carving to be. I made it about an eighth of an inch deep, halfway down. And uh, what I end up with is a, um, is a carved out motorcycle on a piece of uh, bamboo hardwood. The piece that I put into the middle, separately then, I carved out an outline of the motorcycle from the same computer design on bobinga wood, which is from Central Africa, pretty rare and expensive, but it comes on a sheet six inches by eight inches. You put it into the machine, it carves out the outline of the motorcycle from the same computer design, and it slips right into the hole that you'd made. I glued it in, uh, applied some something around the edges called Mod Podge, and, uh, and mixed it with some of the sawdust that came from the bobinga wood and that created kind of a grout that filled in the gaps between the hole for the motorcycle and the actual motorcycle that fit in its place. It was a lot of fun, and I'm not real good with computers, but with the help through, uh, from Gwen at the library, uh, she sat down with us and showed us how to, how to work with the program, and it really was pretty simple. Uh, at the end of the day, I was able to go home after the first class, uh, go back online, uh, created an account for myself, so the, this uh, company uh, then holds it for free of charge it holds a, a, a memory of all of the designs that I make uh, and uh, then when I came back in the library I could boot up just signed into my account and it brought brought all of my designs up uh, I've made um, other things for example um, a wine glass and I didn't finish this one on purpose because I wanted you to be able to see uh, the carving and how that looks. It goes in again about an eighth of an inch into the quarter inch thick plywood. Uh, this machine just cuts it out and then I take the uh, uh, plywood out and put the bobinga wood in that we had selected. There's another sheet that's about six inches by 12 inches goes in here and it cuts out the wine glass in this case, an eighth of an inch thick of um, hardwood. And then it just simply fits inside and sometimes it's a, it's a little too tight and you have to sand it down. In this case, it fit real nicely and easily. There's a little bit of a gap in here that I will again fill with uh, that Mod Podge, Mod Podge that I was talking about before. In, in summary, I just have to say the Maker Lab, the whole experience was wonderful. I loved it and uh, I, I can't wait to come back more and, and learn other things.